kids. I have a message first for Iowa kids, for trans kids across the state. You belong here, you are welcome, and you deserve to be safe at school. You deserve the same rights as every other kid in the classroom, and House Democrats will fight for you every single day because this is nonsense. I also have a message for the governor. The governor said that she didn't like signing these bills and, and that frankly she was, you know, they made her sad. Um, and, you know what, um, I call bullshit. I don't think the governor is truly as upset as she says. She is not the victim here. The victim here are kids. They are kids who can't get gender affirming care anymore in this state, who might, who are currently getting care, who have to go out of state to get it. She, the kids are the victims. The ones who now are scared to go to school because they'll get bullied because of who they are. The kids are the victims who have been targeted over and over and over again by this governor because she sees what governors around the state of the country are doing and she wants to keep up. When we see what is happening, across the country and we see this governor following suit every single time, we know she is not the victim, she is the perpetrator. She is the person who is victimizing these kids each and every day by pushing for this legislation and bullying kids. It is unacceptable, it is politics, and it is her trying to raise her national profile in a race to the bottom, in a race to as far right as she can go. Kids are the victims here. In what universe are we as a legislature, are we as a state government targeting kids for just being who they are? It is unacceptable and I have no sympathy for the governor who claims that she doesn't like to sign these bills. If she doesn't like it, she didn't have to.